guys. I'm making myself some lunch. We went to the gym. I drove David's car because I um, don't have mine back yet still. And we had to return the rental. So I drove it today. I feel like a giant in it because it's like so big and so tall. But I'm getting used to it. I drove it yesterday and then I drove it today. I'm actually going back out again today, so I'll have to drive it again. But we just dropped Cal off at school this morning. Cruise show is really loud. Sorry. Um, we went to the gym, and then now we're home, and I'm starving. So I just made lunch. I just made a turkey sandwich. Um, how good that looks. So excited. I finished my juice cleanse. A little, I'll update you guys on that. Let me go to a different room or turn down his TV because it's very loud. Anyways, I wanted to update you guys on my second juice cleanse, which this one was a lot milder. It was five days, so it was longer, but you could eat dinner with it instead of just juices all day. So it was a lot easier. Um, basically, I lost four pounds again, but then I gained them right back by the end of the weekend. So I stopped my juice cleanse on Friday, and then by Monday I was back to my regular weight, which isn't that, like, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just bothering me because like, you know, sometimes you just have like a certain number in your mind and like I've been that for a long time and then all of a sudden like with the holidays and like getting, I don't know what happened, but I've just like gained like five pounds and I just cannot get rid of it and I get rid of it when I do the juice cleanse and then it comes right back. So whatever, we're just loving ourselves anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to just eat what I want. I'm probably still going to do another one. I, I still like them and enjoy them so I'm still gonna do one probably again next month um, because even if I don't lose weight it's like the health benefits for me so that's the most important part right but I wanted to give you guys that update in case you are trying it for weight loss specifically yes you lose weight but I feel like if you're not careful you'll gain it right back like just as fast as you lost it so I don't know um, but today First, I'm going to be buying some new inventory for the store. I'm doing a resort, resort wear collection. Um, I'm super excited about it. So this will be my second, like, well, I guess it'll be my third big launch because my first big launch was like opening day. Then my second big launch was my spring collection. So this will be my third big launch and it's gonna be a resort collection. It is 15 pieces. It was a pretty big collection. And I am going to order it today and start planning for it within the next couple of weeks, like shooting it, and I'll probably do a live reveal of it like I did with spring. That seemed to do really well. and do like a try on for it and everything, so I'm super excited. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm buying, um, which I guess it won't be a surprise for you guys on YouTube, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Okay, you guys, I just placed my big order for resort wear. I wanted to show you what's going to be in it um, and kind of how I decided how to do it. I thought maybe this would be like an interesting little part if you're curious about more like behind the scenes stuff for the business. So basically, um, I mean, I don't really have that much of a mood board, literally two images and a color palette, but um, I kind of just wanted to do something neutral for the first spring launch or resort wear launch. I'm actually going to do two and I'll show you the second one in a minute. But I wanted to start with a more neutral palette for March. Um, I really like kind of just, you know, the, the texture, macrame, I guess that's, and just like beachy stuff. So I went with a really neutral palette, um, a really deep nude, a pale like coral cream obviously um i love this brown color especially when i've been seeing it in spring apparel um kind of like a darker green i really wanted to get some palm tree stuff so i'll show you that's where that darker green comes in and then like a really pretty mustard yellow so i'm um, starting with accessories um i just did two i mean it's not going to be a huge launch you guys i'm still small but it is pretty big for me um so i'm doing this little sun hat this is actually going to be really affordable it's going to be a great beach hat because it's um i'm not exactly sure how much i'm going to retail it for yet but it's going to be definitely um on the cheaper side um as far as my hats go because i have some more expensive ones that i'm going to order this week but this is going to be a nice easy one that you can just throw in your pool bag so i thought that would be a really cute um accessory and then i'm also grabbing just a really limited quantity of these um little beach bags and i can restock if needed um because i haven't I haven't tried any um, purses yet, so I'm not sure how it will do. So really small amount there, but it'll look really good with the photos. Um, 
Hopefully you guys can see this. I know there's a lot of glare, but I did three dresses. Well, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> These are all three different pieces. This is a maxi dress. This is a jumpsuit. And then this is a short dress. So um, there's where that green kind of comes in with the palm tree print. I love that there's a nude stripe base on this jumpsuit with the palm trees. This will be so cute if you're going anywhere for vacation, like spring break um, with the big floppy hat and that bag. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, and then this is a maxi dress. It's actually a halter top too. And it's the color is called Gucci Brown and it's just actually, it's just called Gucci, but it's just such a pretty shade of like Brown. I can't even describe it. It's like, just reminds me of the beach. I don't know. I love that shade of Brown, which typically I wouldn't think of Brown for the beach, but I love it. Um, and then this is a really pretty like crochet knit dress. It'll play really well into summertime as well, but so gorgeous. So those three pieces. Um, and then I have two like more ready to wear easy pieces these are both rompers so this is a little cheetah print romper soft cotton stretchy super easy to wear very uh, sellable and then this one is a little button front um it's actually like a pin tuck stripe on there as well mustard romper with a tie bow um kind of really brings in that mustard color and then i did two separates so um, I like to kind of pick things as outfits and then like see it all together. So I'm working in Canva. Um, it's kind of an easy way to lay everything out. So I have two tops. This one is a really pretty cream white colored little, I don't know. <laughs> They're both pretty similar, honestly. And the bottoms are pretty similar too, but both of them really remind me of spring. They're definitely on trend with what everyone is wearing and wanting this spring. This one is not super cropped. Hopefully this one's not too cropped. I don't like really, really cropped stuff in my store just because I feel like it doesn't sell as well. Um, but those are the two tops. And then the bottoms, I actually own these myself um, and I was obsessed. I wanted to have them in my store. So they are so, so cute. They are like a camel um, with a little bit of an animal print, uh, like smocked waist gaucho pant. And then these are a little pocket jogger in olive. So those will look really great with this yellow top. And then that top, with these. Um, and lastly, two loungewear sets. So this one's really pretty retro floral print. And then this one, this one just reminds me of like going to Florida for some reason and just like down by the beach, like wear that over your swimsuit and then like go into a little beach restaurant. I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. And then I did put this just kind of as an inspiration photo of like lounging um, because I definitely wanted more of that like bohemian loungewear style. So that's everything that I bought. Um, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. Like anytime I buy a big collection, it's like, okay, now what? I wanted to share. So I just made the mood board so that I can share something um, that kind of shows the inspiration, the name of the collection. I just named it Cabana Suite. Um, and then these little keychains are so cute. I'm actually going to order five different kinds of them um, and they're going to be free with every purchase during the live video. So I think that that will be a fun little like giveaway and they also um, correlate really well with this collection. So that is what I've been working on. Um, yeah, I'm excited now to post this little sneak preview even though there's really no clothing. I mean, there's just the hat, but um, just kind of gives uh, your customers or my customers like a vibe for what's to come. This box is so pretty. It's giving me all the spring vibes. Okay. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but little stickers. Those will actually be really cute. I started putting stickers on my thank you notes in my um, boutique order. So I will use those on that. Okay. Little catalog. Let's see. Ooh, oh my goodness. Let me open things up and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, look how cute this duffel bag is. Alice and Olivia tote duffel bag. I'm totally gonna use that this weekend. We're going to St. Louis for my brother and sister-in-law's gender reveal. So that would be perfect to bring with me. Um, I got these makeup brushes. I'm excited to have those. Um, lip masks, I'm not really interested in that, but Oh well. <laughs> um, these are so luxurious. These are like little, you can use them to cleanse your face and they're like so soft and fluffy. Little like reusable face pads. Um, 
that was a ring that I just put on my finger. Pretty little ring. Um, this is like a glow body and face tonic to make your skin like shimmery and glowy, which is really nice in the spring and summer if you're like wearing like strapless dresses and stuff. I like to put something like that on my shoulders. Um, an enzyme peel. This is a, it says Marina Brightening Tonic. Um, it has spirulina, spirulina, uh, spe, <laughs> I can't speak, spirulina and blue tansy. I know blue tansy is like that essential oil that a lot of people use on their skin. Um, so that's cool. So that's everything that came in it, plus those extra things I got. So fun. I love it. Such a little treat for yourself every season just to get a few new things. Okay, also I just got in a package from Amazon. Look at these little outfits. I got them for crew. I think they might run a little bit small, um, but I'll link them down below because each one was like, I don't know, $7 for the outfit. I think it was like... Shipping was quite a bit too, though. I think they came from China, um, but they're really cute. So like little shorts and a little pocket tee. So I got them in this cream and brown and then gray and white. Okay, I'll show you guys my outfit that I'm gonna wear. Let's go get my hair done real quick. Um, I'm gonna go play outside with crew first, but um, I just got these jeans from a local boutique. They're so cute. They are can cans and I'm obsessed with them. I love all the rips, I love the wash, I love the fit, everything. Um, this is a shirt from my boutique, stuck in the 90s. I still have like two left of this t-shirt. It's really cute, it's like um, pretty big. So I'm gonna size small. I can't decide if I like it untucked or tucked. I feel like I like it untucked. Um, and then I'm like trying to be really trendy with the leopard shirt underneath, I've seen a few people do that lately and I think it's such a cute vibe so I have this I just got mine from Amazon um, just a leopard fitted tee and then I have a few necklaces um, Ana Luisa and HRH and honestly my hair doesn't look that bad today usually when I go get it done it's like terrible but it doesn't look too bad you putting your shoes on to go play outside Roomba Hoombas helping us clean so that's my outfit. I'm wearing my Nike Air Force shoes, super cash. Kind of a different look for me, but I kind of like it. Okay, let's go. Let's go play outside. Okay, so just got Cal from school, picked up Starbucks. I got something for my hairdresser. I got him a cake pop and a water. Oh, my Hey. I'm gonna give it to you when we get there so that way you'll have like something fun to do while I, you sit there and then I got myself this shaken espresso brown sugar and oat milk is what it's called I need oh that's water. good I'll give you some babe okay. here you want my water for right now and then you can have your bottle when we get in there okay. you can put that in your cup holder okay. mm. you guys that's so good if you want something without any like sweetness. There's like little to zero sugar taste in it. It's just like coffee taste. I was gonna just get like an iced uh, cold brew with some, a couple shots of some, or a couple pumps of something, but that is way better. It's like new on their menu. Also, bringing my book, The Family Upstairs. I have that much left. And I have a book club meeting tonight to talk about this um, with one of my friends. She's doing it and it's like a Zoom party uh, book club. So I have to finish this. So I'm gonna bring it with me and hopefully I can finish it at the hair salon. I have like 50 pages left. So we're gonna do that. Okay, let's see if we can put the top down because it's like 60 degrees. Mark, I am gonna show you, although I don't know how to do it. I might not know how to do it. What? You don't know how to do it? How do you do it? Should I call daddy? Oh wait. Oh my gosh. I do know how to do it. Wow. Okay. That's a cool, cool trip. <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome. That's a cool trip. Yeah, Cal, you're in a convertible now. What? Awesome. All right, let's go. All right, you guys just got out and I am loving the hair. I didn't like do anything really different, just kind of, um, you know, brighten it up. 
Cal did amazing. He's still got his iPad playing, but it's gonna stop as soon as we get out of the Wi-Fi. Um, but he just sat there and he's so good. So anyways, we're gonna head home. Gotta cook dinner. And I wanna get home before the sun is down. I gotta finish my book too. I didn't finish it yet. So gotta finish that before eight o'clock for my Zoom meeting. It's five o'clock. So I'll catch up with you guys when we get home. Okay, you guys, it is so much later now, literally late at night now. Um, we got home, I finished my book. I wanted to focus on getting my book done to join the book club, um, little Zoom that we had, and I just got off of that, so um, I didn't vlog at all, but I finished my book. Um, David made dinner, he actually made burgers. I was planning on making it, but I wanted to read. So he made dinner, he cleaned the kitchen, put the kids to bed. I get to sit and read all night and this book was so good five out of five I will have to do um, another book review really soon I am going to wait until I have like ten books to review and I am like almost there I think I have like six or seven so really good and then we just decided on that call the next one we're gonna start is we were liars so we're getting ready to start this one I actually have another one first that I'm gonna read called ladies night so Lots of fun books. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.